for Limerick. Gets it away down the field. Eamon Grimes can't get his stick to it. Seamus Hogan does. Gets it into his hand. Seamus Hogan has a long delivery. But Jim O'Brien is there. Safely caught. And it's knocked out of his hand as he's about to strike. But it's gone wide. Into the middle of the field. Liam O'Donoghue. Bernie Hartigan now at midfield. PJ Ryan there with him. And that's Liam O'Donoghue for Limerick. Gets it across to Eamon Grimes. Grimes being robbed by Jimmy Crampton. Closely tackled. Crampton gets it away but slips and Grimes is on his own then. And he's shot blocked down there. Well blocked down by Mick Roach. And now Roach has it coming out. This is something like the Mick Roach of old before he retired prematurely a year ago. And that's Francis Lucknow. Referee has spotted a foul. And he has a word of warning to Tom Ryan, the sub, number 20, and Noel O'Dwyer. That's Tom Ryan, number 20. He's at right half-back in a rearranged Limerick half-back line. That's Seamus Hogan. He's taking the ones... Fairly far out around midfield. Francis Lucknan takes them inside. That's Seamus Hogan shot. And that's another point for Tipperary. And there's Seamus Hogan. And that leaves Tipperary six points ahead. 2-11 to 3-2. Puck out. Beat Seamus Hogan, but Liam O'Donoghue gets to it. Eamon Grimes knocks it ahead for Limerick. And Jimmy Fogarty comes in for Tipperary, but he's shot way across the far side of the field, goes over the line. So Limerick get a sideline cut. Eamon Grimes is going over to take it. Eamon Grimes... After the first 10 minutes playing a lone hand for Limerick in the middle of the field. With this sideline puck. Now that's knocked out by Len Gaynor. And it's going over the line. So from one side to the other. And it'll be another sideline puck for Limerick. Bernie Hartigan this time. Now he's the other midfielder since the start of the second half. Number 12, Bernie Hartigan. A very short one. Into Liam O'Donoghue. Liam's turning there. Back to Bernie Hartigan. Hartigan is going through, has a shot, but it's blocked down by Len Gaynor. So Tipperary concede a 70. In the middle of the field. Sean Foley with it there. He's gone in centre half back instead of Jim O'Donnell, who's been replaced at half time. Sean Foley. It's high, but it's curling to the left. It's knocked across there and Rich Anderson. It's in the net. It's in the net. Frankie Nolan. Number 13, Frankie Nolan, who scored three goals and a point in the league semi final for Limerick against Tipperary. And now it's in the middle of the field. Limerick, but that's Seamus Hogan for Tipperary. Meant for John Flanagan, didn't get to him. Phil Bennis there, gets it away. To Eamon Grimes, Limerick coming again. Now they're only three points behind. And that's Moss Dowling. Ned Ray knocks it out, but John Gleeson gets it away further. Jimmy Fogarty, his shot blocked down. Frankie Nolan's in there again. Tyga O'Connor, number six. But the referee, Mick Slatter, he has called for a foul on Tyga O'Connor, so... Tyke Murphy, in fact, the goalkeeper is coming out to take it. One Ross Gray man leaves it to the other. One Tyke to the other. Tyke Murphy with the free for Tipperary. And that's down to Michael Keating. And that's Keating's shot. And it's a good point for Michael Keating. Now 
Four points between them again after that point by Michael Keating. Seamus Hogan knocks it ahead there. And that's Tom Ryan. Leaves it to Bernie Hartigan. Hartigan a long delivery up the field. To Moss Dowling, who's playing left corner forward in the second half again. Moss Dowling, and his shot's gone wide. Last ball, maybe they do need the Croke Park Nets here. Tyg Murphy, he's quite happy about it all, in no rush at all. There's Ned Ray, number 14, very sportingly, handed the ball to him for the puck out. Puck out. Off Jimmy Crampton's hurley. Tom Ryan leaves it to Willie Moore. He was the full forward up to about six months ago. Meant for Liam O'Donoghue. But Jimmy Crampton for Tipperary. And he's going to be robbed. He's got it upset by Eamon Cregan. Cregan out to Moss Dowling. Dowling's been knocked off the ball by Jim Fogarty. But Eamon Grimes is there in the middle of the field. And that's Ned Ray, got it into his hand. Ned Ray, the new full forward, pulls. Shot blocked down. Eamon Cregan. Eamon Cregan knocks it into the back of the net. And the referee, Michael Slattery, having a word with Eamon Cregan for swinging to Hurley after he had scored. But now a point between them after that goal from Eamon Cregan. That's gone over the line there, the puck out, gone way over the line, so it's Limerick again with a sideline puck. About 35 yards on, from their own post on the far line. And Jim O'Brien with the sideline puck. Down to John Foley. Lee O'Donoghue knocks it ahead. And that's Moss Dowling coming for it. Black helmet at Moss Dowling, very like Eamon Cregan, who's also wearing a black helmet. But that's Seamus Hogan for Tipperary. Meant for Michael Keating, but he's robbed by Willie Moore. Referee has spotted a for an infringement on Willie Moore, so it's a free down for Limerick. <laughs> Referee Michael Slattery there. And there's John Foley, now playing centre half back and making a difference from Limerick. Putting some spine into the defence. John and Sean Foley with the free. But it's knocked down by Seamus Hogan, who lost his hurley in the attempt. Appeal to the referee. Bernie Hartigan with it, number 12. Ned Ray is there again. Moss Dowling are all pulling on it. But it's Tygo Connor gets it away for a tip. Hurley swinging in the square. But Tygo Connor gets it away safely. And it's knocked away there by Tom Ryan and John Foley. These two are making a difference on the half-back line. And there's Richie Bennis for Limerick with a point. So they're level again. And the goalkeeper, Tyg Murphy, has been poleaxed in the Tipperary net. Tyg Murphy there, poleaxed in the net, just as that ball was going over the bar. Referee Michael Slattery in to have a look. And there's the score, Limerick 5-3, Tipperary 2-12. There's Tyke Murphy, he's okay. Attention from officials and Knights of Malta. Eleven minutes gone in the second half, so maybe now we'll have the monster final we expected. Scores level, 18 points apiece in the middle of the field. That's PJ Ryan, Eamon Cregan with him, Richie Bennis, Francis Lucknow, out to PJ Ryan. 
And that's PJ Ryan's shot. Oh, Michael Keating has been pushed, but the referee lets it go on. Roger Ryan has it in his hand. He's shot clock down. And it's gone out for a 70. So it's a 70 for Tipperary. Roger Ryan there, number 14. Seamus Hogan. Seamus Hogan. Two points already from long distance freeze. Seamus Hogan shot. And it's gone wide. A couple of yards to the left. There's Seamus. A bit upset. Sun beaming down again on Semple Stadium. Very warm and humid in a packed ground here. And that ball's gone over the line. Despite the efforts of Tyga O'Connor. The linesman gives it to Limerick. And Bernie Hart. Bernie Hart again with the sideline cut. Frankie Nolan there across the field. And it's a goal. It's a goal for Eamon Cregan. Beautifully doubled on by Eamon Cregan there as Frankie Nolan's ground stroke came across to him. So now it's 21 points to 18 for Limerick, leading again. Limerick 6-3, Tipperary 2-12. There's Eamon Grimes, he can't get to it. Jimmy Crampton does for Tipperary. And his shot is blocked down. Sean Foley is in there. Although it's thrown on the ground, he gets a shot out to Bernie Hartigan. Hartigan shot. Limerick moving well now. That's Ned Ray trying to get it into his hand. And he's been pulled down. He's been pulled. So it'll be a free in. That's Ned Ray. Pulled back, converted into a full forward. And it's a free from the 21 yards line. Packed goal out there. Tipperary players with Tyke Murphy. And Richie Bennis there to take it. Moss Dowling very near to him. He's got Lee McDonough over on his right. Richie Bennis, one goal and two points so far. Richie Bennis with the free. It's low, it's blocked down by the fence. And it's a free out, it's, it's a free again. No, it's a 70 in fact. Jimmy Fogarty clearing the ball there, brought it over the line. So it's a 70 for Limerick, and Limerick pressing again. Tipperary under pressure now. There's Sean Foley with the 70. It's high and it's dropping. And Tiger Connor got his hand to it. It's cleared away. That's Seamus Hogan for Tipperary. Seamus Hogan swings into the middle of the field. Francis Lucknan over there, number 10. Jim O'Brien with him. Lucknan shot. And it's a very good point from 50 yards on the right wing by Francis Lucknow. And the referee, Michael Slattery, getting a drink of orange from Ozzie Bennett. And the puck out there comes to Richie Bennis, ahead to Lee Modenahu. Liam shot, and it's going over the bar, it's gone. Tyg Murphy is upended again in the square. Tyg Murphy is in the square, Ned Ray picks up his hurley number 14. And Jimmy Fogarty number two there. The 
referee taking a name there, number 14, is Ned Ray, giving them a lecture. This must stop. Ned Ray and John Kelly, full back and full forward. Tyg Murphy's okay, about to puck out. False alarm. So he goes back again. Puck out gone way beyond the three quarters of the field. And Bernie Hartigan is coming to it. Jack Ryan is with him. Seamus Hogan. Liam O'Donoghue comes charging in, but Liam kicks it over the sideline, so it's a sideline puck for Tipperary. And Seamus Hogan to take. Number eight, just inside the line. Seamus Hogan with the sideline cut for Tipperary. And that's Roger Ryan way out in his own there now. He's surrounded. He's on the ground. And it must be a free in, yes, Michael Slattery gives the free. Michael Slattery having a word with the umpire there and lecturing Jim O'Brien. Having a word with Roger Ryan too, Michael Slattery there. Taking names and Jim O'Brien, Roger Ryan and Jim O'Brien. And there's the packed Limerick goal mark. Francis Lucknow with the 20, 21 yards free. But he knocks it safely over the bar. Pat Hartigan's puck out. Eamon Grimes playing at left half forward now. Eamon Cregan is out in the middle of the field. That's Eamon Cregan and Eamon Grimes. PJ Ryan is there with them. But Mick Roach gets the ball eventually. Knocks it away for Tipperary. Down to Michael Keating. Keating has a shot. Goalkeeper Horgan stops it. It bounces off him. And that's John Flanagan. Comes back off it again. And Jim O'Brien gets it away for Limerick. Jim O'Brien well in there for Limerick. That's Sean Foley. And it's gone over the line, though. So it'll be a sideline puck for Tipperary. Seamus Hogan with the sideline cut. Going straight in for Roger Ryan. Blocked down. Roger Ryan trying to get it into his hands. Pat Hartigan after him. Pat's fallen. It's a free, referee Mick Slattery is going for a free. Pat Hartigan illegally trying to hook Roger Ryan there. There they are lining up the Limerick net. Now Francis Lucknow. Nine minutes to go in the Munster final. Francis Already scored two goals and seven points. Drops the ball. Will he have a go for a goal? Two points behind. Francis Lucknow. No, no, he takes the point. So Limerick leading 6-4 to 2-15, just one point between them. And that's Liam O'Donoghue, that's Ty O'Connor for Tipperary, Mick Roach for Tipperary. Michael Keating, but Jim O'Brien is on with number four there. Surrounded, Hurley caught, but he gets in his stroke. And it's way out in his own, PJ Ryan, number nine for Tipperary. And he's shot, gone wide though. Roger 
just seven minutes left in this monster final and one point between them you can feel the buzz of excitement and tension in the crowd at this stage that's Liam O'Donoghue who knocks the head Len Gaynor back for Tipperary Mick Roach has it driving ahead he's been upended by Tom Ryan Tom Ryan is flattered by John Flanagan the referee halts play Mick Slattery halting play there So it's a free from where the ball landed for that illegal tackle after the ball had been delivered. Delivered. Francis Lucknan. Two goals and eight points. Could this be the equaliser from Lucknan? Two goals and eight points so far in this monster final. Now Francis Lucknan bending to strike. And that's the equaliser for Tipperary. Francis Lucknan there, 34 minutes and they're level. Francis Lucknan, two goals and nine points and he's now just one point behind Eddie Kerr in the leading scorers list. Six minutes to go and listen to the crowd now. Six minutes and they're equal, level in this monster final. Eamon Cregan gets it ahead for Limerick. Ned Ray and John Kelly there. That's Frankie Nolan. Can't get it up. Frankie Nolan on his own. Frau he leaves the ball behind him. And Len Gaynor comes in. Gets it away for Tipperary. And that's Francis Lucknan. Now he's breaking away all on his own. Is this the lead for Tipperary? That's Francis Lucknan with the lead for Tipperary. And Francis Lucknan, two goals and ten points. And there's another ball missing in the Munster final. Pat Hartigan fucks out. Less four and a half minutes to go. And Tipperary now leading 2.17 to 6.4. And there's a free there. Eamon, Cre Eamon Cregan fouled. So it's a free for Limerick. And could this be the equaliser again? Richie Bennis to take this free. Richie Bennis, he scored a goal and two points. About 35 yards out. And there it is, the equaliser from Richie Bennis. 23 points each. Richie Bennis there, the man who's made them level. 6-5 for Limerick, 2-17 for Tip. 6-5 for Limerick, 2-17 for Tip. There it is. Four minutes to go. Mike Murphy. Now three and a half minutes and the scores are level. That's Eamon Cregan. He's been doing a lot of damage since he came out in the middle of the field. Oh, a long high shot dropping into the square. Ned Ray, Tyke Murphy on his knees, got to it. Uh, but it's a free in, it's a free in. The referee signaling a free in. Ned Ray fouled in the square. Michael Slattery there. Very quick in this Munster final, very sharp to spot the infringements. Just three minutes to go. Richie Bennis there, the lead again for Limerick, is it? There it is with the three, Limerick are ahead again. Richie Bennis there. And Tyke Murphy fucking out. Limerick ahead 6-6 six, six to Tipperary's 2-17. And that's Eamon Grimes playing a real captain's part. But it's stopped there by Tyke O'Connor. PJ Ryan, Sean Foley doesn't get it, he stick to it properly. 
That's Phil Bennis. PJ Ryan still going through. Gets it down to Francis Luckner. Oh, no, that's Dinny Ryan, in fact, it is. Number 17, just come on the field for Tipperary. That's John Flanagan. And that's Willie Moore. Right corner back for Limerick. Eamon Grimes under. Mick Roach is there too. And so is Sean Foley for Limerick. And now they've got just a minute and three quarters left. That's Noel O'Dwyer for Tipperary. To John Flanagan. Flanagan has a shot from 60 yards out. And it's the equaliser from John Flanagan. John Flanagan equalises for Tipperary. Tip 218, Limerick 6-6. Six, six. So they're level again. Just a minute to go in the Munster final. And it's over the sideline. The linesman is going to throw it in himself. And could we have the first draw in the Munster hurling final? The referee looks at his watch. Could have been the first draw since 1944. 29 years ago tomorrow, in fact, and that was here in Thurless too. Limerick were involved with Cork. Here's Richie Bennis for Limerick. Len Gaynor behind him. And that's Frankie Nolan. Frankie Nolan in possession. 21 yards out. Shot blocked down. Ned Ray pulling on it there. Everybody swinging. Damon Grimes. It's just gone wide. It's just a 70, a 70. It's a 70. And just 40 seconds left. It's a 70 there. Tyg O'Connor or Tyg Murphy. Being pulled back there by Tyg O'Connor, in fact. Time is up, in fact. Uh, referee Mick Slattery running out to Sean Foley to talk to him, or to Richie Bennis. He's showing him the watch, telling him it must be the last puck, I'd say. So, in fact, if, unless he scores this direct, we're going to have the first Munster final draw in 29 years. And there's Richie Bennis. Would you like to be him at this minute? I certainly wouldn't. 70 yards out. There's the shot, Richie Bennis from 70 yards. And it's a good one. Limerick have won the Munster final. Limerick have won 25 points. Look at Richie Bennis. 70 yards out, Sean Foley with him. There's ecstasy. That makes up for Killarney two years ago. And Limerick are back in the All-Ireland semi-final, down to Ennis next Sunday. Limerick are back for the first time since 1955. They're monster champions. And they came into Tipperary's own backyard. And that certainly makes up for the grief there was in Killarney. Remember the scenes in Killarney two years ago. They cried with disappointment on the field, but look at Sean Foley now. There's Brother Guthrie there. He was in charge of the Fail and the Gale two weeks ago. Sean Foley. Limerick gone wild in that last second. Look at that crowd. Short sleeve monster final crowd and this sweltering day in Thurless. And there's Len Gaynor. Sean Foley, Len Gaynor, the two number sevens there. Len, who successfully trained the minor team. There's Jerry Fitzgerald. He was a great referee and player himself for Limerick. So Limerick are into the All-Ireland semi-final next Sunday in Ennis as monster champions. Sean Foley, number seven, Sean Foley. And Bernie Hart again there. There's the crowd streaming off the field now. So Limerick, Munster champions for the first time since 55, and that's their 14th Munster title. Sean Foley again gets another clap on the back. <laughs> 